Hey there, Mission Control. Okay, well today we're going to start testing the board and see how well it does. I think I got it all put together. I've had to do some modifications uh, off camera here to make sure everything works, but let me talk you through everything that I've been doing. Here we go. Okay, so first thing you'll notice, there's a nice green light on there. Right there. And the idea of that light is power off, power on. So in order to make that all work, I had to put in two more resistors right here and here to take the 5 volts that's coming on the board. You know, we're going from 12 volts down to 5 volts, and then I got 5 volts wrapping all the way around. So this is taking it down to 3.4 volts, puts it in the spec of the uh, LED light there. And this way I know power is working and everything's correct on the board. So another thing that I've had to work with is building these little cables here with the JSP connectors. And uh, those have been kind of problematic. I actually ended up melting a little bit of this particular connector here because I was using some alligator clips to get in there and do some testing. But uh, right now it actually looks like this board is functional. I've tested all the voltages and everything is working correctly. So the next step is to actually build some more cables and start hooking up sensors with an Arduino. Let's get started. I'm making some good progress here. Uh, what I've had to do is I realized I should have bought, oh my goodness, oh those things are so annoying. Well, to finish this thought, I should have bought a DC 12 volt power supply. So I'm using my wall wart here temporarily. I, have, I now have one on the way and I've created uh, a test cable so I can power the board. And what I'm finding is the, these JST connectors are actually really quite annoying. This one uh, just broke off. And what I was going to show you is that I actually made this cable here. Uh, this is the Arduino power source that's coming off the board. Uh, and I made the cable so it's going right into the board here. And that powers. I did test it. Everything works uh, and until that cable broke. So I'm going to take that apart and get that fixed before we can power everything back on again. So let's do that. Okay, next step we're going to build the cable harness that comes off of the sensor board and into the computer board. So on this side we have all the connections that are actually going to connect onto the board we just built and on this side we have all the connections going into uh, the Arduino itself. So here this green one here is the analog cable and then all the other ones are digital cables and I had to separate them so I could get the cables to the right place on the board. Let me show you that. So here's the board and then analog cable goes right in there and then we wire up all the rest of these to their corresponding location on the board like so. There we go. So that is the main cable harness that goes from the board we just built on this side over to the Arduino here. Everything's nice and secure. It's looking pretty good. Really happy with how this turned out. Now, these cables here, the connectors, uh, I forget what type of connectors they're called, um, but they're the standard connector types for the Arduinos. They're pretty easy put together. They're the exact same way to put together as the JST connectors on this side. You just use your crimp tool and uh, buy the right ones. But I'm having a problem with these ones staying in place, and I think it's because I accidentally cr crimped, um, crimped them too hard. So when you are building these and you're using your crimper tool, this guy here, you don't want to like uh, crunch down on it. Uh, you actually want to kind of go gentle with it, just enough to get the metal to curl into the, uh, the wire. So anyway, there we go. Now I got to build a whole bunch of sensor wires. Well, I've spent now all day making wires. So here we go. Um, you've seen, some of you have seen this before if you've been watching The Real Martian. Uh, this is the RJ11 version of the sensor in uh, interface that's gonna go onto the box. box. That has everything in it, so this will sit like that. Now, I have decided that the next one I build, because I have to build a, 
one more just like this one and two more sensor boxes um, for electrical monitoring. I have a weather station I'm putting up and then also I have two for controlling uh, water at each of the lanes. So I got quite a few more of these to build, but none of them will be as complex as this guy right here. So the future ones are going to have RJ45 jacks. This one has RJ11s. I already made it. I already bought them. The money's already been spent, and I don't, want, I don't like wasting things. So we're going to reuse the stuff here, which means I'm also reusing the interfaces in the back here. You can see those. Now, in the future, these are going to be RJ45 female connectors. So these cables will all plug. They'll be double-ended. They'll have this connector on one side, and then... They'll have an RJ45 connector on the other side, and that will connect in just like that in the future. So the next version of this will have some upgrades in it, but this one is what it is. So uh, these are the JST connectors. Uh, they did take me quite a while to learn how to build. Uh, we got all the cables built. We have the carbon monoxide sensor cable is built. The light cable is built, and then the power cables are all built for the board as well. So. It's been a long day of building cables. Uh, lots, lots of work goes into making these cables, uh, but it's going to be worth it. I will say, as far as putting these on and having them stay in place, these particular types of connectors work great. But as far as, hey, I'd like to put them on, take them off, put them on, take them off, not so good. They're actually kind of a pain to get on and off. So uh, I think I might revisit uh, connector selection in uh, phase four, but for phase two and phase three, this is going to be more than good enough. I really like how everything came together. I can make these nice custom cables like this, nice and clean as compared to the rat nest uh, that used to be on there. And I can twist all these and uh, make them a lot cleaner as well if I so choose. I think I'm also going to put labels on these. I got a label maker, so I'm going to label them up and know which one is going where, just so if I do twist, I, I can still know which one's which. So. Uh, it's been a long day, uh, still got more to go, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and take a break. It's date night with Mrs. Martian, uh, so we're going to have a great time. In uh, the meantime, if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and uh, subscribe if you so choose. And if you'd like to get notified when we post new videos, please hit the little bell there to the left to subscribe and you'll get notification. In the meantime, everyone, have a great evening. This is The Real Martian, out.